Good morning, everybody. I'm reading from Psalm 115, verse 16. The heavens are the heavens of the Lord, but the earth he has given to the children of men. If we ignore all the empty space, almost all the universe, 99.9%, .9 consists of flaming gases. 94% of this gas is hydrogen, which is gradually being converted to helium in the stars through the process of nuclear fusion. The other 0.1% of the universe consists almost entirely of frozen solids drifting in space, planets, asteroids, meteoroids, comets, dust, so on. Relatively speaking, there is virtually no liquid of any sort in the universe. But the Earth is so different. On Earth, we find an abundance of liquid water, and we need that water. We also find a lot of oxygen as a gas and in its compounds. 71% of the Earth's surface is covered by water. The average temperature of the universe is minus 270 degrees Celsius, that's cold. And the temperature on the surface of the two planets nearest us, that's Mars and Venus, is minus 80 degrees C on Mars and 462 degrees C on Venus. Not very comfortable. But the average surface temperature on the Earth is 15 degrees C, which is why there is so much liquid water. But 97% of water on the Earth is salty seawater. At first, you might think that it would be better if the oceans were fresh water. That would solve the problem of where to get drinking water for all the world's population, which of course keeps going up. But in fact, <clears throat> non-salty seawater would destroy much of marine life, including the underwater algae, which amazingly accounts for about half of the photosynthesis on Earth. Our atmosphere would be swamped with carbon dioxide, and at the same time, the amount of oxygen would go down by more than half. As it is, the Earth's atmosphere contains 78% nitrogen and 21% oxygen and only 0.04% carbon dioxide. I'm sure you remember all this from your school days. We all know that we need oxygen to breathe, but how many of us realize that there is just the right amount of oxygen in air to make things work perfectly? If there was less than 15% oxygen as opposed to 21%, it would be impossible to light a fire. But if there had been just 1% more, 22% of oxygen, forest fires would occur too easily. And at 25%, even wet vegetation would burn, which means the whole surface of our planet would quickly be burnt up following lightning strikes. When we look into the universe through our modern telescopes, we see a very hostile place. But our own Earth has been uniquely and graciously and wonderfully designed to enable life to thrive here. God, our God, has given the Earth to the children of men so we can flourish. Amen. Have a great day.